A question I often hear is, why do I need diagnostic software? Great question. Let me show you. The primary function of the Kohler Diagnostic System is to convert sensor data into information a technician can more easily understand. Can you identify how fast this engine is running based on voltage from the engine speed sensor? Of course not, because there's no information available that relates speed sensor voltage to engine speed. Something as simple as RPM starts out as AC voltage generated by the speed sensor. The Kohler Diagnostic System and ECU convert this voltage to RPM, a value we can easily understand. The same is true with nearly all sensor inputs. They start as voltage or resistance and are converted by the ECU and Kohler Diagnostic System to a live data value that simplifies troubleshooting. Live data can prevent the need for subjective voltage and resistance testing with a multimeter. For example, there's no need to test the engine speed sensor circuit when RPM can readily be observed with live data. There's no need to test the TPS circuit when physical throttle position can be visually compared to TPS live data. And there's no need to test the engine temperature circuit when the temperature displayed by live data is accurate. Understanding the Kohler Diagnostic System live data is key to successful troubleshooting in minutes instead of hours. Watch Kohler Diagnostic System live data for better understanding. The secondary function of the Kohler Diagnostic System is displaying diagnostic trouble codes. DTCs can occur for the following conditions. The ECU detects an open or short within an EFI component circuit. The desired air-fuel ratio cannot be achieved. Abnormal or out-of-range data is identified by the ECU. It's important to know that faults can occur without meeting these conditions and no DTC may be set. Current or active DTCs mean the fault is present right now and troubleshooting should be performed. Historic or inactive DTCs should be documented and can then be cleared using the Kohler Diagnostic System. If the DTC returns and there is a related running fault, additional troubleshooting is likely necessary. Remember to start this troubleshooting with a thorough examination of live data under various running conditions, as this will often reveal issues without multimeter or circuit testing. 